Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll show you how to find available Wi-Fi networks using two approaches. The first is by using the CLI, and the second is by writing a short Python program, which will help us doing so. Wi-Fi is an abbreviation for wireless fidelity, which is a wireless technology that allows computers and mobile devices, and even other equipment, such as printers and scanners, to connect to the internet. We can discover the names of the Wi-Fi connection available in the surrounding area, and we will need only one module to write our program. This module's name is SubProcess. The SubProcess module allows you to spawn new processes, connect to their input-output error pipes, and even obtain the return codes. And we don't need to install it, as it's a built-in module in Python. First, I will show you how to find network names using a Python program, then I will show you how to do the same thing using CLI or command line interface. So let's go ahead and import our module, which is called sub process. And you can see the description of the sub process module on the right side of the screen. The next thing we need to do is we will create a network object. So we will call it NW and this will be equal to the sub process module dot a method called check output, check underscore output. And we will use the check output method for having the network term retrieval. In other words, it returns information about all the networks available. So we will need a few arguments inside. And these arguments will be inside a list. So we'll have a list. And the first argument is called NetSH or network shell. And NetSH is a command line scripting utility that allows you to display or modify the network configuration of a computer that's currently running. And I will show you in a few moments in the CLI how to use it. So this is the first argument. And we want the network shell to work on the wireless network or wireless local area network. We want to show the available networks. So as you can see, check output method works to show the available networks on the wireless LAN by using the NetSH utility. So by executing line five, we will get all available networks, but they are coded. They are in the form of zeros and ones. So we need to decode them. How to do that? Well, let's create another object or variable, decoded networks. And this will be equal our NW object, which contains all the networks available, dot, a method called decode. And what we want to decode? We want to decode ASCII. And ASCII stands for the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And it's a character encoding standard for electronic communication, basically. So these codes in the ASCII standard represent text in computers, telecommunication equipment, and other devices. Now, let's go ahead and print our decoded NW. So as you can see, a few lines of code will help us finding all the available networks. Let's go ahead and execute that file, say python main.py, and there you have it, all available networks in my area. The SSID stands for service set identifier, and basically it shows your network's name. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have seven Wi-Fi networks that are available in the building, I suppose. And for each network name, you will find the network type, which is infrastructure. It's the same for all of them. You will have the authentication, WPA2, personal, and encryption, which is CCMP, but not for all. Here you have TKIP. And these are the names of the networks. So Lengsys, Toya, which is very popular in Poland. Uh, this one right here. All right, and this is mine. I'm using orange operator. So this was how to retrieve all the available networks in your local area, really using a Python program. Now let me show you if we'll use the command line interface. So if you remember, we have spoken about this keyword right here, netsh or network shell. This is actually a command or a utility command that helps us to display or modify the configuration of a specific network. If you will type net sh followed by 
wireless or W LAN like that space and interrogation mark enter you will find that you will have a lot of commands that you can use with net sh w lan so let's take a look for instance to show this command right here and you can see that it displays information so net sh w lan show other commands that you can use you have a lot of show commands Let's use show all and show all shows complete wireless device and networks information. So again, net sh wlan show space all. And you get all the information about the available networks. So let's move up. Let me show you from the start. After you entered this command, get wireless system information summary time which is the date here then the time central european standard time showing drivers or show drivers show interfaces show hosted network show settings then show filters then show profiles name and then we get the networks available okay so interface name again wi-fi and it tells you explicitly that there are seven networks currently visible in an hour or in a minute it might be a different number of networks available uh, but for the moment, it's only seven. Okay, so this is what we got in our program, but in more details. If you're getting more technical about the available networks, then I suggest you use the net sh command, um, followed by the wlan, show all, and you will get all the information that you will need in details. All right, so this was how to display all available networks in your local area network. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.